Today we're going to create this simple snow scene so we'll have a chance to go coasting down the hill on that sled. I think you'll find this a fairly easy one, although it might look complicated to start with, but it isn't. Let's um, start with the edge of that building. Oh, about a fifth of the way in. But you can put it just about where you'd like. Now we want to put some perspective in it, so make this line slant down, as if it ended up here at a vanishing point somewhere in the center, and this line slants up. Then curve the edge of the roof like that and slant it up so we'll get the effect of a thick pile of snow on the roof. Later we'll cast our shadow across up this slope about like this. Now back here, I think in about there, we could put in that slope of the hill to the little valley and make it swing down here. The line of another hill going behind it. Now you know how to draw the peaked roof of a house. And of course, when they're snow covered, be sure that you make it quite thick on the eaves. Slant it down at the ends. Sort of a marshmallow topping on the tops of our buildings. Now for putting in our background, use a piece of dark gray chalk or your pencil on its side, and work your tone in tightly against the edge of those snow-covered roofs. And don't be afraid to make it fairly dark because that makes the snow look brighter and whiter. However, you don't want to go completely black because we want to save our black accents for trees and a few other things like cast shadows. But that is your forested area behind the buildings. Now, uh, let's put in a few strokes back there that will suggest uh, trees. Nothing more than a suggestion, you see. And you can even put in a few still darker accents at the base of each group of trees. Soften it because it's back in the distance and get a sort of a hazy effect. Now we're going to have our light come from the upper right in this picture, so the ends of the buildings would go quite dark. And you'll notice that on a bright sunny day when you're out in a snow-covered landscape, things do look pretty black and pretty dark, such as trees and the shadow sides of buildings. Put a dark accent under the eave and softly round off the end of each roof like that. Put a little tone on the side of the building and a touch of texture. Chimneys. Then a suggestion of some slim trees without leaves, of course, this time of year. Uh, that we're making the drawing. You might even bring a few trees down on this slope and cast some shadows up the hill. Fuse the tops because the branches get real tiny and they just look fuzzy actually in against that background. Here we have a bit of shading to do on this slope with light coming from the upper right. This would fall in shadow, but not dark shadow. It's sort of half shadow. And notice that I've blended it off softly here. You can do that with your fingertip or a piece of cleansing tissue like this. And then we'll put in a few trees from which we'll cast shadows. Let's put in a tree right about here. And another one there. And uh, in a snow scene, you can make them look quite black. Now the cast shadow will follow down this slope to the valley and up the hill. We'll have our light fairly low in this picture so that it casts long shadows. Let's make this one come across 
down this hill and slant up. Of course, you split up the shadows up there because the branches that go on up in the air give you those lacy little shadows going up the hill. And we can assume that there's another tree back there somewhere. So we've got a still bolder shadow coming down here and going up the slope. There you start to get the shadow patterns of a winter afternoon. The uh, building here might get some dark gray tone first. Then we'll put some stonework on it with a piece of black chalk on its side like this. Notice how you can suggest stonework with a little bit of light in between the stones and make the edge of the building irregular. Well, before we put in any more detail on the uh, building, why don't we just cast that shadow across there using a piece of chalk on its side, sweep it in, fairly dark gray shadow. And uh, let's just lean a post there. Cast a shadow which joins the shadow of the rest of the building. Then, of course, accent the shaded side of it. And now you can doodle around the suggestion of stonework that you've already put in. That's something you can always work on after the program is over because details like that you can re readily remember and work them out to suit yourself. Then a little bit of rounded off shading here on the roof where the heavy snow has piled on it. I think we might as well just block in this big tree here, piece of gray chalk. Thicken it at the base. Cast a shadow. And then shade the side away from the light. Notice I'm pressing down on the end of the chalk so that it makes a sharp edge on the left side of each of these cylinder forms and a soft blended effect through the center. Then you can use the edge of the chalk to put in lines of texture to give the tree a little character. Add some branches up here. And down here in the foreground, we might suggest a wood pile. Some circles indicating the ends of logs, but lay them down as cylinders stacked on top of each other. Now with an eraser, you can put highlight on them and you can build it up as though it's a nice blanket of snow covering the wood pile. Put dark crevices in between the ends of the logs and you might even want to put rings and crack marks. Little interesting things that help give character to your picture. Well, now, the fun part of it. I've fastened two pencils together here in order to make the tracks in the snow for the boy on the sled. You might make a practice stroke like that, a nice rhythmic S-curve. See why, how we've just used two pencils side by side to get the effect of tracks in the snow. The runners of the sled now the boy, his shoulders and head are raised up a bit. He's steering the sled and he has one foot ready to drag so he can break the ride. If he runs into something, the other foot is sticking up in the air. And don't forget to cast a shadow from the boy too. Yes, we've given him a nice place to go sledding here. I think that's about all we have time for in our drawing today. So let's put the frame on it. Now you didn't find that too difficult, did you?